Welcome to Cherry Blossom Yoga. I'm Robin Dinerman. This is a half hour Hatha Yoga class for beginners and continuing students. I think today I'm just going to focus on emptying the mind, concentrating on the body and the breath. So don't worry about getting into perfect postures if you just want to sit or lie down and follow your breath or listen to my words that's or my voice that would be fine too it's just a time where you can put everything up on a shelf all the things you have to do or you think you have to do or whatever you're anticipating and you're a little nervous about it be present in this moment be present with your breath right now so I'm going to begin in some standing postures. We'll move down to the floor later. And hopefully you'll find your mind is a little bit more quiet. Your body is a little bit more relaxed. You've let go of some of your tension. So come join me. Beginning in Tadasana, the basic standing pose in yoga, feet about hip distance apart and bring your attention to the soles of your feet. Imagine you can press down into the earth and as you do, visualize your legs growing longer and then your spine, including your neck, your cervical spine, and reach up through the crown of your head. Close your eyes. Bring your attention to the tip of your nose and pull the cool, dry air up your nostrils, down your throat. Imagine that it travels not only to your lungs, but down a center line, filling your body with new, fresh oxygen and nourishing every cell in your body. And as you exhale, all the old, stale air leaves, the toxins leave, the tension leaves, leaving you feeling lighter, refreshed, more at ease, and more completely here in this moment. Beginning with universal arms. That's a good way to start. Breathing in and out. Long out breath. Breathing in, arms at shoulder height, deep breath in, and out. Lower the chin to the chest, slightly pressing inward, firming the buttocks. That's your out breath. Inhale up, turn the palms up, and now a long exhalation as your arms float down. Inhale, hands in prayer position. Exhale. Inhale, interlace your fingers, flatten your arms to shoulder height. And exhale, lower your chin to your chest, extending the arms. And inhale, palms up above your head. And exhale, letting the air out slowly as the arms float down. And we'll repeat a couple more times. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out.
And now we'll make really big circles in front of you. Take your time. Exhaling as you cross in front. Inhaling as you lift up and reach open. Notice how your shoulders and upper arms feel as you do this. And then we'll reverse. Reaching up, crossing over as you exhale. Taking the breath in as you lift up. And then a longer out breath. And one more time. And exhale. Palms to your sides. Separate the feet a little bit farther than hip distance. And keeping your legs, your knees loose, bend one knee turn and follow your hand bring sweeping the other arm behind you back to center and then turning the other way exhaling these are all everything we've been doing and are doing now is good for waking up for re-energizing yourself at the end of the day so you notice as I turn right my left knee bends Arms come up, let's bring them up a little higher and turning left, the right knee bends. So now you're kind of warming up your hips and ankles. You can really lift them up. You don't need to go any faster. And bring your attention back to your breath. And out to the side. Turn one palm up. This is my left palm. Inhale up. Right arm alongside the body. Exhale. Keep your gaze forward. Don't drop down. The arm over your head or cheek. Sending energy out of your fingertips. Then inhaling back to center. Right palm turns up. Leaning left. Exhale, we'll finish the movement on the other side. And back to center. And either heel toe back to center or step your feet back together so they're still about hip distance apart, toes pointed forward. Place your hands inside of your elbows. Let the arms rest against your midriff and lower your knees visualize the sit bone going down now you want to keep from hinging forward at this point so shoulders right above the hips and straighten and bend with your attention right at the knee joints and then travel up the backs of your legs to the lower back And now when knees are bent, I'm going to inhale, lift the arms up, and open them. So just reach out for a moment, and then bring the shoulders back into place, letting the shoulder blades sink down. And again, the chair position, Uttanasana. And see if you can hold that for a moment. You're going to do better if you press down evenly through your feet. Keep the shoulders above the hips. Breathe in, lift the arms straight up, palms forward, and exhale, arms down to shoulder height. And 
and exhale. Now, keeping the back flat, hinge forward. Place your hands lightly on your knees. And then straighten the knees about 97% and let the arms come down. Now, if you find your bottom is swaying out for outward, bring the hands forward, pull the belly up into the pelvis. Release your neck muscles so that your head hangs. We're in Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Now straighten the left knee as you bend the right. Straighten the right as you bend the left, continuing to look through between your legs so you're not lifting the head at all. And again, if you find that you're leaning backward a bit, walk the hands forward. And then place a hand behind the leg, just above the ankle bone. I'm going to tuck my elbows as far as I can behind, not really behind the knees, but I'm trying. Breathe in. Exhale, pull the belly back. Now using the strength of your arms, pull the thighs and torso closer together. Your head hangs freely and heavily. Is a wonderful stretch for the calf muscles, the hamstrings, the lower back, and if I'm not sure you can see, but my knees are slightly bent. And then release and walk your hands up your legs, back flat, and Index fingers and thumbs around the hip hinges. Breathe in. And exhale, standing cat stretch. Tucking the pelvis under, tucking the chin in, pressing lightly into the throat and the chest, and then straightening your spine, lowering the seat, looking straight ahead. So you're arching the back. You can even bring the elbows closer together. Release and straighten. Exhaling, arching. Inhaling, straightening. And come back to center. Pause for a moment in Tadasana. Eyes closed. Breathe deeply. Notice, listen to your heart beating. Can you feel the movement of energy through your hands and fingers? Maybe your back feels longer or your shoulders looser. Maybe it's just neutral without criticizing or judging yourself. Scan your body. one of the basic warrior poses, Virabhadrasana. Separate the feet as far as you feel comfortable. If you have done this before, you might put really separate the feet. So I'm turning, this is my right foot facing the end of the mat. Then I'm going to turn my hips and shoulders so they're parallel to the front line of the mat and bring my arms out, shoulders down at shoulder height. And I'm looking back. Now it's important your bent knee is directly above the ankle. And I'm looking at the space just above my hand. Then inhaling back to center. Exhaling, looking out over the other arm. Keeping the shoulders above the hips. The knee should feel stable. And then we're going to fold over the bent leg. And I'm just touching my forearm to the thigh. I want to bring the upper arm over my ear or cheek. And make sure I pull that shoulder back so I'm looking straight ahead. Left hip pulls back too. Side angle pose and breathing.
Now lifting up back to center and turn the palm down as it comes down to your side. Both feet are forward and then we're going to reverse the direction. And now this is my left foot turned outward. I'm going to separate the feet just a little bit more. Square the body to the front line of the mat and come into warrior. The knee should be directly above the ankle. That protects the knee joint. And look back at the space just above your hand. Check your shoulders. And then inhale center and exhale to the other side. And then we're going to lean, just touching the arm here. Remember to pull that upper shoulder and, and the same hip back, and getting the knee above the ankle, looking ahead. Breathing. Now inhale up. And we're going to bend the knees slightly, let the hands slide down to the ankles and get a really good grip. You can separate the feet a little bit more. I have my toes forward. And because I'm on a sticky mat and my feet are bare, I've got really good traction here. So I'm going to lift the sit bones, let gravity pull my head down. I feel my cheeks becoming heavy. Lifting the sit bones up. And even in this position, I have a tiny bend in the knees. I don't want to hyperextend the knees. So the brain drain. Bring your hands down so they're just in front of your shoulders. And we're going to s move the weight over one side. I'd like you to use your hands here so that your knees are not taking all the weight. Just like you to feel or observe what's going on in your knees at first. Then I'm going to turn my foot out slightly, tuck my arm into the leg. Line up my two forearms, let my head hang. Or I can lift the neck. Put one arm behind me. Reach for the opposite hip and turn. Pulling that shoulder and elbow back. You can even bring this hand up. And then back to center, both arms to this side. The inside arm tucked in. This arm lined up, let your head hang. And then if you like, you can wrap the arm behind you, pulling it back. Look over the shoulder if you want, lift this arm up. And see if you can lift up out of it a little bit more. And untwist. Come back to center, heel toe. Now you can uncurl upward. And I'm coming up with a flat back. So pressing the feet into the mat. Coming up to Tadasana, mountain pose, feeling long and tall and strong. <laughs> and we're going to take a short break. We'll be back to Cherry Blossom Yoga in just a moment. How will 2020 census data be used? Where there are more people, there are more needs for public services. That's why the census is used by the government to inform funding decisions each year. But that's not all. It's also used by nonprofits to inform services 
by businesses to create jobs, and even by students for school projects. Understanding how the population changes helps us shape communities across the country for the better. Shape your future. Start here. Visit 2020census.gov. Welcome back to Cherry Blossom Yoga. Please come join me on the floor. We're going to do some leg stretches on our back and then a very short little quiet meditation. So I'd like you to come onto your seat and place the arms not too far back, but Fingers pointed forward, elbows slightly bent, trying to make the arms parallel and lean back a bit. So just lift one leg up and lower. And the other leg and lower. So the muscles you're using are right here and it's important that you don't collapse like this. You wanna keep the breastbone lifted and keep space here through the abdomen and I'm not putting a whole lot of weight on the hands, trying to control everything from the lower abdomen. I'm gonna come back and let's see. So I'm tilting back a bit, drop the shoulders, the shoulder blades, it takes more work to hold both legs up. Then we're going to place them down and flex the feet and reach for your ankles. Maybe you can reach your toes. And this is a continuation of the stretches in the lower back and down the backs of the legs. All right, so now we're going to come down. I'm going to tuck my thumbs right under and try to make the um, forearms parallel to each other. So here I want you to avoid jutting your jaw forward and please avoid lifting your chin and dropping your head back. So find a neutral place. Again, we're lifting the legs and the focus is at the navel. So you lift one leg up. It doesn't have to be high, but do this with awareness and with control so that you don't just lift it up and drop it down. If you find your chin moving forward, reposition your head. So my breathing pattern is breathing in and breathing out. Then tightening the belly muscles, bring both legs up. Bring the breastbone forward. And then with control, if you want to lower one leg at a time, that's fine. So attention now at the sit bones. Press down, lift up the breastbone, flex the feet, and reach for your toes. It's okay if you go for the shin or the ankle, whatever works for you. And exhaling, pull the belly back. I'm looking through a space oh, above my feet and forward. And let's come down all the way onto our backs. And bring one knee in, wrap the arms around the leg, aim the knee toward the shoulder. Now, lower your shoulders, get the shoulder blades down to the floor. Press and release. And then open the leg, walk your hand down. So uh, as I'm doing this, I'm bringing my arms in closer to the leg. You can see my lower back is coming up. If you want a different stretch, keep the lower back down so it's touching the floor. You see, you, you won't 
go as far over your shoulder. And release. Firm up the leg, flex the foot. Keep the tension throughout the leg all the way up to the buttock, coming down. And when you let go, let the mat absorb all the tension and ah, release. And then exchange legs, bring the other knee in, squeezing, elbows down, releasing, squeezing and releasing. And open your leg. And again, try it with the lower back pressing down and then lifting up. I like it both ways. And then flexing the foot, firming up the leg and lowering. Extend both legs, turn your palms up slightly away from your body. Let your eyes close. Let a feeling of great peacefulness come over your body, mind, and spirit. Bring your knees up. Roll on to your side. And press your top hand into the floor, walking your hands back to your body. Come into a seated position. Try to do a little bit of yoga every day. Set aside a time and place for yourself to turn inward, settle in, breathe deeply, enjoy all <laughs> the fresh oxygen as it nourishes your body, and let go of anything holding you back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're feeling wonderful, and I hope you can carry that feeling with you into your day into your week and into your life. Namaste.